Now, one thing that I actually forgot to mention is they're not actually getting the shocks. So the learner is a confederate, they're not really in pain. But that doesn't matter because the teacher doesn't know that. The teacher thinks that they're giving potential lethal shocks to a stranger. Before they did the study, they went to the experts and said, how many people do you think are gonna go all the way? They were like, I bet you no one. Like one in a thousand, like the saddest, the freaks, the psychos. Well, that wasn't the case at all. All the people went to the intense shock level and nearly two thirds of the people went all the way. You might be looking at this going, that's kind of a horrible reflection of human nature. Does that mean that most humans are actually psychos? We're not nice people, we're sadistic? Well, that wasn't the conclusion at all that Milgram came to. Instead, he reported how upset and distressed the participants became. He said he observed one mature and initially poised businessman enter the lab smiling and confident, but within 20 minutes, he was reduced to a twitching, stuttering wreck. He was approaching a point of nervous collapse. He constantly pulled on his earlobe and twisted his hands. At one point, pushed his fist into his forehead and muttered, God, let's stop it. Yet he continued to respond to every word of the experimenter and obeyed until the end. There's footage of people crying during this experiment. They're not giving potentially lethal shocks to strangers because they're horrible, sadistic people. They're doing it because they're nice people. They're doing it because they're polite people and they find it hard to say no to the authority figure in the white lab coat. This experiment had a massive impact all around the world because people were trying to make sense of the Holocaust. How can it be that a whole nation of people conspired in the murder of millions and millions of people identified by the Nazis as being Jewish, homosexual or disabled? The standard explanation was, well, the Nazis are evil. It's the evil gene. That's all you kind of needed to know. They thought that Germany was a nation full of morally corrupt people. What Milgram's trying to say is, no, we all have the capacity to behave in evil ways if the situation demands it. The author C.P. Snow said, when you think of the long and gloomy history of man, you'll find more hideous crimes have been committed in the name of obedience than in the name of rebellion. This is the kind of stuff he's talking about.